Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys. Peep game, man. All right, man. Demetrius Andre recently told Boxer Scene should he be successful in his fight on Saturday that he would like the opportunity to fight Triple G. He feels a fight like Triple G would elevate his uh, career in him as a top fighter in the planet, which to me, I think it would. Look, we all most likely agree that Demetrius Andre should be in the top 10 pound for pound list, but based off his inactivity and some of the career moves he did made concerning his career, because there was rumors that he allegedly turned down fights because he didn't like the money, so... Uh, some of the shit that possibly has happened with Demetrius Andre career is his own doing. But he feels like Canelo lost to Triple G, so he would like the winner. And I think that's another reason why he signed with HBO. Look, at the end of the day, you know, there's no more excuses for Triple G. And I state that, and I want to make that very clear to Triple G and his fans. There's nowhere for Triple G to run anymore. This is a dude that everybody uh, boast, boasted and bragged about that he was this, this, this killing machine and that nobody wanted to fight him, but now people are strictly moving up to 160 just so they can fight this dude. Now keep in mind, everybody was hollering about he didn't have nobody to fight. Well, now 160 is starting to get stacked again. They got some people that's coming up there. They got some hard hitters that's coming up there. So, it's time to really see where Triple G is as a fighter. And it's really time to see if Triple G is really that good. Because as of lately, Triple G, in his last three fights, he struggled in certain spots. He didn't look that good against Kale Brook, even though he got the stoppage. But on two of the scorecards, he was behind. The Daniel Jacobs fight, I'll state once again, a lot of people thought that Daniel Jacobs won that fight. The Canelo fight is half and half. Some people thought Canelo won. Some people thought Triple G won. Some people thought that the draw was the right was the right decision. So now it's it's just time for Triple G and his fans to stop making excuses. They can't sit up there and say uh, we'll only fight this dude if he's the mandatory. Triple G should be like, hey, bring him on. I'll fight anybody. You know. But as I said before, there's really no such thing as anybody in boxing. But I'll fight the best possible opponents. Now that Demetrius Andre with HBO, that fight shouldn't be hard to get made. Now, Chalo, it could be, you know, the Chalo fight, that might could be a little bit difficult. But I still think it be, could be done. I'm, I'm pretty sure that Al Heyman would let... Jamal Chalo roll over to HBO just for the Triple G fight. I mean, Daniel Jacobs did it when he was a BBC fighter, so why can't Jamal Chalo do it? So, yeah. It's really time to see where Triple G is, and I don't want to hear no shit that Triple G has earned the right not to fight the guys like Demetrius Andre and Jamal Chalo in a rematch with Daniel Jacobs because Really, Triple G hasn't fought anybody in his career. And Demetrius Andre will be the perfect opponent somewhere down the line to see how good Triple G is. Don't you guys get it? If Triple G beats this, beats these type of guys, then we can further stop the argument on whether Triple G is as good as uh, we think he is or may be or may not be. So this is why he should want to fight these dudes. But it appears to me Triple G just don't want to fight certain dudes and certain type of fighting styles. That's apparent. And we just got to keep it 100. Well, I'm keeping it 100. Triple G fans not keeping it 100. But getting back to Demetrius Andre, like I said, I like Demetrius Andre as a fighter. I think he's a good fighter. He's a very entertaining fighter. You know, you had a couple of idiots say that he struggled against it, uh, Jack Kincaid in his last fight, which, no, he didn't. I thought he easily won that fight. And at the same time, some fights you just don't get up for. Now, he got hit a couple of times, but at the end of the day, he clearly won that fight. So I don't know what fight you fucking idiots was watching if you thought that Demetrius Andre lost that fight. 
that fight wasn't even close. Demetrius Andre clearly won that fight eight rounds to four to me. But, hey, we know how fans are, or whatever you want to call I don't even call you guys fans. But we'll see what happens with uh, Demetrius Andre. But anyway, I'm out.